How's it going there, Craft Beer Revolution? This is Brian coming to you with another review. And today we are going to be looking at Oak, A Oak Aged Yeti Imperial Stout by the Great Divide Brewing Company. Just the name itself uh, made me want to pick it up, not to mention the fact that it's a lovely stout. A 9.5 uh, ABV. And I can't really remember what the IBUs on here. I don't think they're that high. It's not supposed to be too, too hoppy. Uh, I don't think that it actually says it up here on the on the bottle, but I will leave that underneath the uh, the video here. Um, like I said, by the Great Divide Brewing Company, uh, the Beer Advocate Brothers said that this was a 95 on a scale of 100. So it's got to be good, right? It's supposed to be good. If they're rank, ranking it that high, I do believe the average overall uh, of reviewers on Beer Advocates uh, ranked it a 94 out of 100. So everybody's saying that this is a mid-90s Imperial Stout. So we're going to figure out what this is all about, whether or not they were telling the truth. This is my very honest and unbiased review. Here we go. <clears throat> Check it out, okay, to the pour, let's see what kind of color we have. Okay, all right, a nice dark, dark brown to black. A oh, moderate head there. Oh, starting to get a little bit more head there. Wow, okay, so it did get a little thick. We'll let that kind of simmer down a little bit. Uh, the value on this, uh, it's uh, $10.99 is what I paid for it at uh, Total Wine. Uh, and this is for a 1.6 ounce. So $11 for a 1.6 ounce. And uh, as far as I know, I don't believe that you can get this all the time. I'm, I'm pretty sure that it is more of a seasonal type thing. So let's uh, see what this thing smells like. Yep, very uh, chocolatey malt. Um, very little booze to the first nose. Getting a little bit. Um, I could smell the oak in there as well. Vanilla. Um, probably, probably some caramel in there as well. So yeah, you I mean right off right off back, you're getting all these scents that that your typical stout has: the chocolate, the malty. Uh, the malt, uh, the vanilla, the oak smell is very, it's there, but it's not strong. I might actually be getting, um, probably some figs or something like that. So there's, I think there's actually some, a little bit of fruit in here as well. And I think that's what I, what I saw in the reviews. You know, I'm actually picking that up as well. So it actually does have a slight kind of fruity aroma to go with all the chocolate. Um, well, pretty good in color there uh, to kind of compare it to the, the bottle. It's pretty much the same color as the bottle, so you like your typical stout. Okay. Let's go ahead and see what we have to the taste here. Cheers. Okay. Dark chocolate, um, coffee, of course, uh, vanilla hints, and on the back end, it's uh, uh, very oaky. Uh, maybe like uh, like tobacco as well. It is definitely an imperial stout, living up to its name. It is. Uh, it actually does taste kind of hoppy as well. So I'm gonna have to look at the IBUs on it because, to me, it seems like the IBUs on this thing are higher than I had thought. So uh, a little bit of a, a bitter aftertaste there. For me, I mean, I am a stout fan, but um, there is a point when things are too stout and too hoppy, and I'm kind of getting a little hoppy scent on the on kind of the first take there. Let me kind of swirl it around a little bit here. 
and you can see it's really got a thick head so it is really creamy velvety pretty dark colored uh, head there as well I'm not really detecting really much of the fruit there I actually think I smell more than I can actually taste it's almost like the the uh, chocolate and the oak and uh, the caramel all the other flavors and 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 along with the uh, the booze is kind of overtaking anything that's fruity in here yeah very very dark chocolatey and on the back end you have the oak and uh, the hop I mean it, it is pretty hoppy to me uh, my personal opinion a little bit hoppier than I tend to like but overall a pretty good beer um, yeah one more time here one more time Mm -hmm. seems like it's getting a little bit better as, as it sits a little bit because more of the chocolate is coming up I'm still getting a little bit of the aftertaste though um, and definitely going to look into the IBUs on it because it is kind of hoppy to me um, but uh, it's kind of what you would expect in an imperial stout an imperial stout is supposed to be a little bit hoppier so it's supposed to be a little bit more stout than your, than your regular stout so it is living up to its name. And with that, uh, if you want to find out what I actually uh, rated this beer, um, you'll find that underneath this video. I'm not going to give you the right now because I like to let the beer sit and, you know, kind of gather my thoughts on it before I go ahead and throw that rating out there. So with that said, go ahead and look underneath this video for that rating. Like it. Uh, comment on here. Let me know if, uh, if you enjoyed this beer or if you did not. If this review helped you out and all that good stuff. And with that, I will see you guys on the next review. There's plenty more to come because I love doing what I do here. And I will leave you with what I always leave you with. Don't be average. Drink good craft beer. See you later, craft beer revolution. This is Brian. See you on the next one. Thanks.